We've all made traffic violations at least once, but this man was speeding and led police on a chase. While on a routine patrol, officers observed a motorcycle speeding on I-95 and initiated a pursuit. The motorcyclist, identified as Scott Thomas, 63 years old, repeatedly evaded attempts to stop him, driving recklessly through several streets, including Gateway BLVD, Military Trail, and Woolbright RD. During the chase, Thomas drove into oncoming traffic and intentionally collided with an FHP patrol car. The chase ended at Charleston Shores BLVD, where police successfully apprehended him. He was arrested on multiple charges, including fleeing and eluding, reckless driving, and driving with a suspended license. We are witnessing a high-speed chase that took place in August 2023 in California. A man on a motorcycle was weaving through traffic at around 130 miles per hour, which is something you should never do, as it makes the road extremely dangerous. Police split into different directions to surround him. After a long pursuit, he even maneuvered around large trucks in hopes of escaping, but he couldn't evade the police. It only ended when a police car blocked his car, forcing him to run out of the lane. The police immediately controlled and arrested him. Running away from the police is never a good idea. At 11.05 p.m. on July 8, 2023, police stopped a vehicle on I-4 westbound near SR-559 and observed two vehicles, an orange Ford Mustang and a white Porsche Panamera, traveling at high speeds. Police estimated their speed at about 100 miles per hour, recording a speed of 104 miles per hour in a 70 miles per hour zone. As the police passed, both cars accelerated to 125 miles per hour, weaving dangerously. After notifying the Tampa Bay Communication Center about the Mustang's license plate, police tracked and executed a pity maneuver at mile marker 27, causing the Mustang to spin but not sustain damage. The violator continued to speed, crossing double yellow lines and colliding with the patrol car twice, causing it to lose control and crash into a fence and a utility pole. The driver was arrested while the passenger remained buckled in. The chase began in Polk County and ended in Hillsborough County. Police in Humberside, England, released video footage of a high-speed chase through the rural areas of East Yorkshire. According to the police, a 19-year-old man fled during the pursuit and nearly ensured he would never drive again. He drove dangerously and suddenly changed lanes while being pursued by police, but this caused the sedan to lose control and crash.
Fortunately, the police and a truck driver sustained only minor injuries in the crash, though the young man was in a coma for four days. He has since been banned from driving for two years. On March 22, 2024, on I-75 in Florida, a white SUV sped dangerously, disregarding the law and endangering those around. Officer Sapp had no choice but to use the PT technique, causing the vehicle to lose control and overturn at the scene. The driver, James R. Perridge, in a state of panic and paranoia, was taken to the hospital before being formally detained. If you want to see more high-speed chases, thrilling confrontations, and dramatic stories like this, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Stay tuned so you don't miss any action-packed moments as we explore the most thrilling situations on the streets. During his patrol, police officer A. Cass observed a car traveling at 44 miles per hour on a road with a speed limit of 31 miles per hour. The police immediately chased the car and asked to stop, but the car tried to escape the police pursuit. During the pursuit, the suspect car repeatedly collided with surrounding vehicles, causing danger on the road and moving the car erratically. After the officer successfully stopped the car, the driver complied with police orders without further incident. A subsequent check revealed that the suspect had been driving under the influence of alcohol. There have been calls for stricter measures against drunk driving, emphasizing that alcohol is far more dangerous than other stimulants combined. A suspicious motorcycle, speeding well over the limit, caught the attention of a patrolling police officer. The fleeing bike headed onto the southbound ramp of I-75, reaching speeds of up to 145 miles per hour. As the chase escalated, reinforcements from the Georgia State Patrol joined in, attempting to corral the elusive rider with a rolling roadblock. After a series of evasive maneuvers, the suspect eventually lost control of the motorcycle, 
coming to a dramatic stop on the sidewalk. Finally, the police were able to control the suspect who was hiding weapons and banned substances on his person. The chase began shortly after 7.20 p.m. in the Van Buren area. When the driver of a black pickup truck fled from a traffic stop, leading police on a high-speed pursuit. Officer Matthew Price joined the chase, and the truck was seen weaving through traffic, speeding through intersections along the road. With each passing second, the chase seemed to become more dangerous as Officer Price attempted to perform a pit maneuver on the vehicle and tried to stop it, but the car was able to regain control and sped off. The pursuit at times reached speeds of up to 122 kilometers per H on a stretch of road with a speed limit of 45 kilometers per H. The truck has uh, driver side damage now from my pit. Yeah, more driver side damage. He's passing somebody on the right shoulder. The chase only ended when the police implemented tactics on a deserted road, causing the car to lose control and crash down the roadside. While on duty, Officer Walter Jack spotted two young men on motorcycles speeding at around 128 kilometers per H. There wouldn't have been any trouble if they had complied with the officer's signal to stop and accepted a speeding ticket. However, one of the riders decided to show off his skills by accelerating and fleeing. The police officer also immediately chased after him, but at one point the two motorbikes seemed to be able to cut off the tail at a speed of up to 294 kilometers per H. The high-speed chase finally ended when the officer caught up with the young man whose motorcycle had slowed due to traffic in front of him. He was eventually charged with endangering others while trying to flee, which could have landed him in jail for five years and a fine of up to $5,000. All you had to do was stop and you'd have got a ticket. Yeah. It's not my fault. <sighs> Frank, 338 Ardmore. This dramatic chase between police and a van. The pursuit began when police were trying to stop a stolen van. The driver was Mercier, and he crashed head-on into another car while trying to escape from the police. This high-speed chase caused damage to several police vehicles. The suspect was moving recklessly on the road, endangering surrounding vehicles. Finally, the police performed the Piat tactic to end the chase. The police patrol car rolled several times before coming to a stop. The police suffered minor injuries, 
The two suspects face multiple criminal charges and were booked into the Benton County Jail on Thursday. On February 9th, 2024, around 5.30 p.m., I, Officer Shearer, was patrolling Interstate 75 near MM 155 when I spotted a black motorcycle speeding. Despite activating my emergency lights, the suspect, Julian Angelo Zamet, born in 2001, did not slow down and continued to exceed 150 miles per hour, weaving through traffic and driving on the shoulder. <laughs> As he attempted to exit the highway at exit 143, Zamet lost control and crashed onto the grass shoulder. Police quickly apprehended him and took Zamet to Shorepoint Hospital for medical evaluation before transferring him to Charlotte County Jail. All of this occurred in Charlotte and Lee Counties, Florida. During a routine patrol, two officers noticed a vehicle with expired plates. The police stopped the car, but things didn't stop there. The driver quickly stepped on the accelerator and fled the scene and began driving at high speed recklessly on the street. After a long chase, the suspect ran a red light and collided with a moving truck. This accident caused him to not wake up again. It's a reminder to always follow police instructions to avoid dangerous high-speed chases. An incident occurred on August 16, 2024, in Vero Beach, Florida, when police spotted a sports motorcycle speeding at 120 miles per hour in a 45 miles per hour zone. Really extremely reckless, still eastbound 37. After confirming his identity, the police immediately began the pursuit. However, Austin Schwartz, 22, continued to flee, and three police officers joined the pursuit. It was observed that he was weaving through traffic and driving on crowded roads during rush hour. The chase ended when Schwartz collided with the side of a pickup truck at the intersection of Route 17 and Indian River Avenue. Yep, he's uh, helmet down. He's, he's standing by the bike right now. He was ultimately arrested and jailed in Indian River County on charges of reckless driving and fleeing law enforcement and was later released on $40,000 bail. Normally, the safe driving speed is 40 kilometers per H. However, this man wanted to escape police inspection and accelerated to over 100 kilometers per H to run away. However, his speed still did not make it difficult for the police, who always kept the chase under safe control and closely followed the suspect's car. The pursuit came to an end when the suspect crashed into a daycare building on Soho Road. However, he still wanted to run away again on foot, 
but the police did not give him a chance to achieve his goal. The suspect, Nicholas Caddy, 25 years old, has now been sentenced to one year in prison for dangerous driving. A 32-year-old man, Quinton Yarnall Larks, committed two home robberies in Riverside, California, and then fled in an Amazon truck. During his escape, he caused several collisions with other vehicles, injuring some people slightly. In his attempt to get away, Larks crashed into multiple moving cars and ultimately had to abandon the vehicle to flee on foot, but couldn't get past a security barrier and was arrested by police, causing significant damage to surrounding vehicles. Larks is currently held at the Robert Presley Detention Center with a bail set at $1 million and faces several serious charges, including conspiracy to commit aggravated assault, armed robbery, and driving under the influence, endangering others. A high-speed police chase in Florida occurred when a suspect was driving a stolen Mustang at breakneck speed, weaving through other vehicles on the road. Not only was he driving recklessly at high speeds, but he also ran red lights at intersections. This reckless decision ultimately led to a severe collision with another vehicle at a crossroads, creating a chaotic scene. His dangerous driving not only threatened his own life, but also posed a risk to those around him, resulting in serious consequences for everyone involved. Fortunately, after the accident, everyone was safe. The suspect was arrested shortly after and faced multiple charges. A dramatic chase has been released that left many breathless as video footage captured the incident on a busy Florida highway on May 19th. Authorities were chasing five reckless teenagers who were attempting to steal a car from Fort Lauderdale. Dashcam footage from the Florida Highway Patrol recorded every tense moment as the SUV sped down I-95. Just minutes later, the situation turned violent when the driver lost control, causing the SUV to flip into the air and crash into a wall. Landing upside down in a scene of devastation, the car was completely destroyed, stopping in front of the FHP cruiser, making anyone who witnessed it shudder. Dot. Although the teenagers suffered serious injuries, they survived, serving as a stark lesson about the severe consequences of reckless actions. Speeding might get you home sooner, but it could also land you in serious trouble. We are witnessing a dramatic chase on June 5th, 2024. At that time, police patrolling in Miami-Dade County, Florida, police observed two motorcycles moving at a very high speed. 
After the police had approached, the two motorcycles continued to escape the police pursuit. While fleeing, the motorcycles swerved on the road and ran red lights. The speed of the motorbike reached about 110 kilometers per h without paying any attention to the safety of surrounding vehicles. While fleeing, the two cars went in two different directions and the police chased one of the two cars. When making an evasive move, the subject hit the side of the police car and then fell onto the road. The motorcycle was also severely damaged. The suspect was immediately subdued. Have you ever wondered how police handle tense chases on the streets? Let's explore some thrilling situations right now. The chase began when two suspects fled from authorities on Interstate 95 in Brevard County on a Saturday. Police discovered the vehicle around 3.13 p.m. when Crosby began driving recklessly, swerving between other vehicles without regard for everyone's safety, dot the police initiated a pursuit after the suspects attempted to flee from a traffic stop. The chase quickly ended when the police successfully executed a pity maneuver as the vehicle attempted to pass FHP in the emergency lane, putting an end to the suspect's reckless driving. Adam Crosby, 21, and passenger Samantha Simpson, 30, were arrested shortly afterward and faced various charges. A dramatic chase on June 15, 2023, in Muskegon, ended in a devastating crash. When participating in traffic, put your safety first. At around 1.43 a.m. on June 19, 2024, police spotted a light blue Toyota Corolla with Florida plates speeding wildly on Interstate 4 West, estimated to be over 100 miles per hour while the speed limit was just 60 miles per hour. Driver Jeremy Alfonso Russell weaved through traffic with no intention of stopping. During the pursuit, Russell recklessly entered a restricted area, prompting police to employ the Precision Intervention Technique, PIT, to end the dangerous chase. After the strong impact, Russell's vehicle crashed into a concrete barrier, but he continued to flee until police forced him to stop completely. A search revealed that Russell had concealed a package of controlled substances in his sock, while Jamashia Danielle Parks, a passenger, was arrested for throwing the container of controlled substances out of the vehicle. Both were taken into custody without further incident, concluding a dramatic and dangerous chase. Show me a fucking hands now, you need a fucking Show me a fucking hands. Give us 94. 
On Thursday, June 20th, 2024, at approximately 2.23 p.m., Milwaukee police attempted to stop a car for a felony at N-17 Saint and W. Vliet Saint. The car was wanted in connection with an armed carjacking on the 500 block of N Broadway Saint Police quickly initiated a coordinated response to ensure the safety of other vehicles on the road. The chase was intense, but carefully controlled to prevent any potential dangers. This time the suspect had a gun and resisted fiercely causing the police to open fire to control it, injuring many people. Ultimately, the suspects were charged with over 20 felony counts by the prosecutor. What is a safe speed for you to normally drive? This motorcyclist was driving at 139 kilometers per H just to avoid a police check. During the escape, the man drove his motorbike at high speed recklessly on the road without paying any attention to the safety of those around him or even his own. Finally, the police overtook and stopped his motorbike, and he was immediately restrained. The chase between police and a motorcycle unfolded as two suspects sped through the streets. The narrow streets felt so tense you could cut the air with a knife. The suspects desperately tried to evade capture, racing around corners filled with determination and fear. The sound of the engine roaring, creating a feeling of breathless suspense. Despite their best efforts, the police persistently followed closely behind, like shadows that couldn't be shaken off. Ultimately, in a decisive moment, one of the suspects jumped out of the vehicle before a stairway, realizing that all their efforts were in vain. The police apprehended both suspects and restored safety to the street.
On April 10, 2020, at approximately 6.38 a.m., the Sebastian County Sheriff's Office requested assistance to pursue a black pickup truck that had run several traffic lights and was recklessly driving on the shoulder of U.S. Highway 71. The chase began in the Ingersoll Circle area, with multiple officers involved in the effort to stop the vehicle using the PT technique. And is backing out and leaving it with 13 of them. After several evasive maneuvers by the driver, the Ellis police successfully executed a pit maneuver at the intersection of US 71 and State Highway 255, resulting in a collision between the police vehicle and the suspect's vehicle. Although emergency services arrived on the scene, the suspect did not survive due to injuries from the crash, highlighting the risks faced by law enforcement in such emergency situations. Unfortunately, we crashed out here right. 27. A police chase involving a stolen sedan, driven by a 16-year-old, escalated rapidly. Tensions escalated when he ran away despite the police's hot pursuit. He continuously swerved and moved in the opposite direction on the road during rush hour. This dangerous driving led to a severe crash at North 76th Street and Good Hope Road, resulting in injuries to five teens, one of whom tragically did not survive. Before making a decision to do something when participating in traffic, put your own safety, as well as everyone around you first. On July 20th, 2024, at 8.44 p.m., while on patrol on I-75 northbound. The patrol officer observed a black Durango SRT driving past the officer at approximately 60 miles per hour in a 40 miles per hour zone in heavy traffic. After the officer caught up with the suspect vehicle, he immediately activated his hazard lights and siren to stop the vehicle. However, the vehicle did not stop and only slowed down. After another police vehicle caught up with the suspect vehicle, the suspect vehicle suddenly accelerated and began a pursuit. During the pursuit, the vehicle reached speeds of up to 90 miles per hour, made several sudden lane changes, and collided with several surrounding vehicles.
During the lengthy chase, the suspect eventually lost control and crashed the rear of the vehicle into a guardrail and the I-75 overpass before coming to a stop in the middle of the bridge. The suspect was immediately subdued and there were no further incidents. At 2 p.m. on June 20th, 2024, Officer Elvis Nolasco observed a suspicious vehicle and activated his lights to signal a traffic stop. However, the suspect vehicle showed no intention of stopping and sped off at high speed. The officer notified his dispatch unit that the vehicle was fleeing. At that point, the car began driving recklessly on the outside shoulder, weaving in and out of traffic. The driver cut across all left lanes of traffic and attempted an illegal U-turn across the center grass median, causing him to crash into a dark-colored SUV. At this moment, the officer attempted a pit maneuver, but the driver regained control and headed northbound on I-95. After several attempts to close in on the suspect, the police finally succeeded in bringing the vehicle to a stop and quickly apprehended the suspect. The driver, identified as Derek Danovan Taylor Jr., now faces numerous charges and has been detained at St. Lucie County Jail. One morning, police in Tallahassee, Florida, during a routine patrol, discovered a drunk driver driving erratically on the road. The individual was driving at speeds up to 130 miles per hour, prompting police to initiate a pursuit. The chase was tense as the driver continued to drive recklessly, endangering those around them. Ultimately, to end the dangerous situation, police performed a pit maneuver, causing the vehicle to veer off the roadway and come to a safe stop. This incident serves as a clear reminder that driving under the influence not only threatens the life of the driver, but also endangers everyone else. Always remember that safety is paramount, and if you're unable to drive, choose a safe mode of transportation. Everybody good? Everyone's good? Everybody's good, right? Yeah. 
The chase took place at night to round up a fleeing criminal. Maybe this time it was a particularly dangerous criminal, so there were many police officers making an emergency arrest at night. The chase lasted for a long time and ended when the suspect's car lost control and flipped over. On July 20th, 2024, at 8.44 p.m., while patrolling northbound on I-75 with Lieutenant Carey, police spotted a black Durango SRT traveling at 97 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. The driver, Jontavius Hood, did not stop but suddenly accelerated, initiating a pursuit that reached speeds of 140 miles per hour. He drove recklessly, weaving between vehicles and nearly colliding with many others. As he entered the I-285 interchange at over 120 miles per hour, Hood lost control while turning at 70 to 80 miles per hour and crashed into the guardrail. The horrific accident severely mangled the vehicle, with the front and sides crushed and the headlights shattered, creating a chaotic scene on the road. Passenger D. Foster and driver Hood were found with a stolen handgun. This incident highlights the dangers of fleeing from law enforcement which not only endangers oneself, but also poses risks to others on the road. Fleeing from police can lead to catastrophic accidents beyond one's expectations. Accepting responsibility and stopping can save many lives, including your own. On October 20th, 2022, police were ordered to apprehend a murder suspect from Indiana. Agents received information that the suspect was on N. Bogan Road in Gwinnett County, Georgia. Police located the suspect's vehicle at the intersection of GA-20 and Stanley Road. Officers activated their emergency lights to pull the suspect over, but upon seeing the police, the suspect immediately fled.
The suspect moved at high speed on the opposite road without paying attention to anyone's safety. After three Pi Ts, police finally subdued him, but he attempted to flee on foot, but was apprehended shortly thereafter. The suspect, identified as Irvin M. Roberson, was apprehended by U.S. federal authorities. A dramatic chase unfolded when a car attempted to flee from the police, prompting law enforcement to engage in a high-speed pursuit. The vehicle raced down the streets, reaching an incredible speed of up to 130 miles per hour, delivering heart-stopping action. Ultimately, a perfect PIT maneuver by the police brought the car to a dramatic stop, ending the dangerous chase and ensuring the safety of other vehicles on the road. This decisive action showcased the professionalism and skill of law enforcement in such critical situations. On Sunday, June 5th, 2022, at approximately 7.43 p.m., a high-speed chase unfolded on I-7585 near Langford Parkway between police and a motorcyclist. When the police were on duty on the road, they observed a motorbike moving erratically on the highway, so they immediately turned on the lights and siren to stop the vehicle. But the motorbike driver ignored the siren and lights, then started running away. Thing right, thing right on Oak Street. During the pursuit, the driver drove recklessly and swerved at high speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour on the heavy vehicle lane. Going back, uh, gonna be going north on Lee. Clear North Island Street. Going back eastbound on 20. Clear going back eastbound on 20. Finally, during a long chase, Corporal Smith was able to reach the motorbike, and the driver also slowed down, bringing the chase to a safe end. The driver was identified as Alexander Aldridge from Jonesboro, and he was charged with fleeing and attempting to elude reckless driving and a suspended license. Put your hands behind your back. What I do? What did you do? I didn't know y'all were chasing me. I didn't know y'all were behind me. 
At around 10.35 a.m. on January 2, 2023, the Georgia State Patrol's Criminal Interdiction Unit coordinated with the East Point Police Department to apprehend Matthew Gaskins, 19, who was wanted for multiple felonies. Gaskins was driving a stolen Jeep Grand Cherokee and was fleeing on Washington Road in East Point. After crashing into the backyard of a house, he continued to flee recklessly, leading to a series of PIT maneuvers aimed at stopping his crime spree. Gaskins damaged several vehicles before returning to Washington Road and stopping at 3100 Washington Road in a parking lot. Ultimately, Gaskins' vehicle was disabled after crashing into a utility pole, and he was arrested without further incident. On their patrol, Akron police stopped a vehicle acting suspiciously when they discovered the vehicle committing a traffic violation in the area of 600 Copley Road. Police say they called off the chase because of unsafe speed. But moments later, Things became more the tense when the fleeing car, car did not observe a stop sign and crashed into a moving car. The driver lost control and collided with two other cars before crashing into a tree. The accident injured three people and the driver never regained consciousness. Give up the idea of running away from the police because it never ends well. The drivers of two other cars also went to the hospital. Ma'am, you got step back. On the night of June 6, 2024, police were stopping vehicles on Interstate 40 when they spotted an SUV traveling at 86 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. When police signaled the driver to stop, the driver, Alex Wilson, failed to comply and fled. During the pursuit, the SUV was driven recklessly and the driver discarded a bag containing illegal substances from the vehicle. After executing a TVI maneuver, the vehicle crashed into a ditch. The driver was handcuffed, and police discovered a total of $609, along with various controlled substances in the vehicle. The driver, Nicholas Papacristo from Jonesboro, Arkansas, was charged with multiple offenses, including reckless driving and obstructing governmental operations. This incident reminds us of the importance of adhering to traffic laws to ensure everyone's safety. Continuing a pursuit of criminals on a Brazilian street, the man drove through small and narrow alleys at a very fast speed thinking he would escape the police's pursuit. 
However, the police did not give him a chance to escape and chased him more closely. In the end, the man gave up running away because he knew he could not escape the police pursuit. It was reported that the suspect had dumped a suspicious bag near the parking lot of a business. The police immediately began pursuing the suspect. During the chase on the road, the suspect's vehicle accelerated and tried to escape the police's sight. However, the police had divided the area and were able to quickly surround and arrest the suspect. After confronting the police, the suspect tried to resist, but the police were highly professional and handled the situation easily. On June 2nd, 2024, during a routine patrol, the police observed a suspect vehicle making a U-turn to stop. But the vehicle immediately began to flee at a high rate of speed, resulting in a pursuit. The vehicle continued on Sparta Road, traveling at a high rate of speed and weaving across the roadway at speeds exceeding 130 miles per hour. At the intersection of State Route 66 and Skipper Road, the car made a sharp right turn at high speed, causing it to lose control. The vehicle stopped in the middle of the road, facing two patrol cars. The suspect, identified as Jaquan Salvalas Hall, accelerated at a high rate of speed and deliberately rammed one of the patrol cars, deploying all the airbags and injuring the chief of police. Ultimately, the police used a pit maneuver to stop the vehicle. Once the car came to a complete stop, Jaquan Salvalas Hall exited the vehicle and laid face down without being ordered to do so. Motherfucker! Hands up on the ground! I will kill you! Joe Onley, 23, was spotted driving recklessly by a police drone flying overhead, speeding, lifting his car, spinning his rear wheels, and overtaking dangerously as he sped from the Hucknall area towards Ollerton. The highly trained officers pursuing him struggled to keep up as he sped through the area on the afternoon of Friday, April 15th. He was initially unaware that the police were following him, but he immediately turned around and sped up when he spotted a police car. Finally, thanks to the location sent from the police plane, 
the pursuing police quickly arrested him while fleeing into the village of Kellum. He was taken into custody and faced multiple charges for his dangerous behavior. This pursuit took place in the state of Arkansas on June 10th, 2024, at approximately 4.30 p.m. when police were patrolling the area of Highway 253 and Old Highway 271. They observed a gray sedan driving recklessly on the road and upon receiving a siren warning, the driver immediately fled. The police immediately pursued the vehicle, but the pursuit did not last long. After the traffic had cleared, the patrol car performed a tactical vehicle intervention. After performing the tactical vehicle intervention, the suspect vehicle attempted to regain control. However, the police did not give him a chance to escape and the car was pushed out of the lane. Afterwards, police immediately arrested the driver identified as Hargett and arrested the passenger identified as Wilson, both of whom were suspected of possessing and using banned substances. In criminal chases, victory always belongs to the side of justice. On May 26, 2023, officers from the North Little Rock Police Department engaged in a dramatic chase with a stolen SUV. During a long time of fleeing, the suspect's car suddenly accelerated and wriggled on the highways in the hope of escaping the crime. But in the end, the police car approached her car and collided with the side of the car, causing the driver to quickly lose control and crash into the curb. The collision occurred on a deserted road, so it did not pose a danger to surrounding traffic participants. A dramatic chase unfolded between police and four suspects involved in a prior shooting on December 6, 2024, at 142 Joseph E. Lowry, BLAD, and W. Police from the ACE unit located the suspects in a stolen blue Tesla attempting to escape. The dramatic chase by police along Lee St. SW with their emergency lights and sirens on while remaining extremely vigilant. During the pursuit, the suspect driver lost control of the vehicle and was injured. Ultimately, the police effort resulted in the arrest of all four suspects and they received various sentences. Good. 
On April 7th, 2023, around 9.24 a.m., Florida Highway Patrol was patrolling in Palm Beach County when they received a report of a stolen white convertible BMW. The vehicle was traveling south on Interstate 95 and was being tracked by its owner. An officer spotted the vehicle at a Speedway gas station in West Palm Beach, where the driver, Shancello Gazic, was pumping gas. After driving off, Gazic lost control and fled on foot. Police arrested him after he jumped over a nearby wall. Gazic had the BMW key in his pocket, indicating he was the one driving the stolen vehicle. He was found to have a suspended learner's permit and a warrant for failure to appear in court. Gazic was charged with multiple offenses and subsequently taken to Palm Beach County Jail. What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. What do you need my name for? Introduce yourself. You haven't identified I don't have to introduce myself. Okay, there you go. Then I don't have to give you phone numbers right now. I'm not asking you for it right now, but I'm up. We've all likely made traffic violations at least once, but this man chose to flee from the police, leading to a high-speed chase. Florida Highway Patrol spotted the stolen Cadillac as it sped down the highway and immediately began a dramatic pursuit. The vehicle swerved between lanes at speeds exceeding the limit, causing panic among surrounding drivers. Police decided to execute a pity maneuver to stop the flight. When the pit maneuver occurred, the Cadillac spun around before coming to a stop on the shoulder. The suspect inside the vehicle offered no resistance and was quickly apprehended without further incident. At 1.57 p.m. on August 29, 2023, Florida Highway Patrol attempted to stop a black four-door Mercedes on State Road 33, but the driver fled. After successfully executing a Piat maneuver, the vehicle came to a stop. Derrickson Perez Irizari, seated in the passenger seat, was subdued, while the driver, Karen Nohelia Diaz, attempted to resist fiercely and escape from her handcuffs. Police had to use pepper spray to subdue her. At Polk County Jail, 
Diaz admitted that the FN 9mm handgun discovered by police was hers and had been stolen. She was charged with assaulting law enforcement officers and possessing a stolen firearm. This incident highlights the tensions in police work. On November 14th, 2023, a blue Porsche Cayenne reported stolen from Collier County was spotted by a Florida Highway Patrol officer. The vehicle sped down the turnpike near Southwest 42nd Street in Miami-Dade, weaving past multiple other vehicles. When police attempted to stop the car, the driver continued to flee on foot, but was quickly subdued by police. This incident underscores law enforcement's determination to prevent crime and ensure traffic safety. The suspect driving the BMW seemed to know how to exploit the car's power, weaving and speeding through the congested highway at breakneck speeds. While GSP units struggled to keep up, the vehicle flew deep into Atlanta in a dangerous and dramatic chase. The pursuit began when police spotted the BMW 6 Series, exceeding an astonishing speed of 108 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. Despite signals to pull over, the suspect recklessly fled, running red lights and racing ahead, but strangely did not fully utilize the car's sharp handling. This fatal mistake allowed police to catch up, executing a spectacular PIT maneuver that spun the BMW around, crashing it into a parked Cadillac. In a strange moment, the Escalade suddenly rolled and left the scene leaving a big question mark about why the driver decided to hide instead of facing the police. Fond du Lac police discovered a stolen vehicle and immediately attempted to stop it, but the reckless driver sped away, igniting a tense chase. In a surprising moment, the vehicle suddenly stopped and two passengers quickly exited, prompting police to arrest a 41-year-old woman and a 35-year-old man. Just minutes later, a deputy from the Fond du Lac Sheriff's Office spotted the vehicle again.
However, the car refused to stop, leading to a new chase through various streets of the city, before the vehicle crashed head-on into a deputy squad car outside the Love Tourism Center. Both the squad and the suspect's vehicle were heavily damaged, but fortunately, no one was injured. The 32-year-old man from Milwaukee was arrested and faced serious consequences for his bold and reckless actions. We'll get you an ambulance, okay? I'm going to try to focus. Hey, what's your name, bud? Derek Triplett. Junior. Can you write this down? Derek? Derek Triplett. Spell it for me. Spell your... Spell it, please. Yep. Sit up, please. Yep. All right, thank you. On Wednesday night, a high-speed chase unfolded as two theft suspects, Jakari Arnold and Devada Hines, tried to escape police through Hillsborough County. Arnold, driving a white Dodge Durango, swerved dangerously at speeds over 100 miles per hour, forcing police to follow closely without being able to execute a pit maneuver immediately. As the vehicle turned onto US Highway 98, it struck the curb and nearly caused a horrific collision with oncoming traffic. The pursuit peaked when police finally succeeded in executing a pity maneuver, flipping the SUV onto the shoulder. Upon searching the scene, police discovered 70 credit cards, driver's licenses, and other personal documents inside the vehicle, revealing the scale of the theft operation the two suspects were running. Arnold and Hines were both arrested immediately, bringing this breathless pursuit to a close. On January 24, 2024, Trooper Darren Evans was patrolling eastbound on Interstate 40 when he spotted a suspect vehicle with an expired license plate that had been out of date since June 30th, 2019 on a blue 2013 Hyundai Elantra. Almost like they knew about that. The officer signaled and ordered the suspect to pull over. However, he had no intention of stopping and immediately sped away from the stop at 60 miles per hour. The suspect drove recklessly, showing no regard for the lives of others on the road as he sped along the shoulder and weaved through heavy traffic. After a lengthy pursuit, the suspect continued to drive extremely recklessly and at one point nearly lost control of the vehicle at high speeds with multiple vehicles passing by. The police decided to use a tactical maneuver to stop the vehicle, but the suspect suddenly braked and made a U-turn. Black male, green t-shirt, running across 40. Black male, green t-shirt, dread, running across 40. The chase came to an end when the suspect crashed head-on into a tractor trailer. Perhaps many people are always confident in their driving ability in all situations, but they may have to change their mind after watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch the channel's new videos as soon as possible. Los Angeles police officers Hollenbeck were pursuing a man with a gun in a BMW. During the long chase, the BMW was driving dangerously on the roads and trying to escape the police. The officers had to be very careful and precise with every step because the suspect was suspected of having a gun on him. Right. 
far, right? Things got worse when the suspect car moved at a fast speed, leading to an accident that injured both the BMW and Prius drivers. A chase on the highway in Mexico, the motorcyclists were traveling on the road in a dangerous and reckless manner. They seemed to not care about the safety of people around them and even themselves. After being reminded by the police, they did not stop but decided to speed up and leave. The police decided to block the road ahead to stop the motorcyclists. Two of the motorcyclists were arrested soon after.